In this video, I'm just going to show you how to upgrade your firmware on your Cisco IP phone using Core Manager. Um, I've got CUCM. Uh, I have a, a Cisco 7970, and I'm just going to upgrade the firmware to the latest version. Um, I've already downloaded from the Cisco website and it's already on my TFTP server ready to go. I'm not going to show you that bit um, just for the simple fact that I've already done so. Um, okay so I'm just going to double check the firmware version on my phone at the moment. So device phone um, if you go into your this is 7970 so it's this one here um, and click on the IP address to the phone now I'm kind of just web browsing to the phone now so you can see it here but there's also another place in core manager that you can view it from if you go into device device settings device defaults um, this will tell you the firmware load for each model of phone that you may have on your network or connected to your core manager uh, mine's the 7970 and it's the skinny client control protocol and I'm going to upgrade it to the latest one. I think it's 9.3. Um, so we just need to go into um, OS administration. I'll type in my username and my super secret password. Um, software upgrades, um, install and upgrades. Uh, my source is going to be a remote file system, so TFTP server, and my location is going to be just the, the default. Uh, my server is this IP address. Again, username and another secret password. And I'm using FTP. Click on next. Now, um, always remember it's FTP and not TFTP. Uh, TFTP uses uh, you can just connect to it and it's UDP which is best effort T FTP um, you need authentication and it's a three-way handshake so it's more secure um, I've got some firmware versions that I've already um, played around with which you can see on here but I'm interested in the 7979.3.1 this version here um, so I'll select it click on next um when you do download the file there's that when you do download the file from Cisco it comes with like a readme um file and in this file you'll have a md5 hash um value core manager will validate your file and give you an md5 hash value as you can see here i've already checked it and yes it's the same version here as the same one which is on the readme file on the website so um just be a bit just be aware of that um, I click on next and it will start installing this will take around 10 minutes probably um, it, it, it's just this information here is just um, boring stuff that tell you what it's doing um, you know unpacking the firmware um, and I'm just gonna pause the video here and come back when it's finished okay okay um, it's complete now so um, once it's completed, notice the status complete. Um, now you need to restart the TFTP service on your core manager in order for this to take effect. Because at the moment it's still running on the well, it's still running on the other one on the old firmware. Um, to get the new one up and running on your network, you need to go into serviceability. Um, oh, need to log in. and you need to go into the tools control center uh, feature service services and this is where you can stop or start or well, stop or restart your services so I'm looking for the TFTP service here um, and I want to restart it uh, get a message just okay that and just wait for this to to reload shouldn't take a while
okay um, so if I go back now to my SIM administration device device settings device defaults if I go down to my 7970 you'll see that the firmware low has changed to the one that I've just recently installed so when my phone restarts now it will grab this firmware um, and install it if I go back to my device phone and my 7970 is here uh, we can currently see that uh, the f this f firmware version is is the one it's running I'm going to restart the phone now uh, and I'm just going to pause the video because these 7970s do take a while to reset um, once it's done I'm going to come back in and we'll have a look at the firmware version just to double check that it's changed I'll also double check on the phone itself you can't see the phone because I haven't got a webcam to show you but I'll just show you using the call manager okay the firmware is now on there so if I go back to my um, phone um, you can see that it should say version Oh, there you go. Nice stars. 9.3.1 ISR. And that's it. That's how we um that's how we upgrade it. Any questions or anything just put down in the comments um and I'll answer them as soon as I can. And uh, thanks for viewing.